Hello everyone. So we are going to continue our discussion on the same topic, direction sense. So if you remember, in the first lecture, I had discussed the first type of problem where we have learned how to deal with problems where angular movement is given to you. Now in today's lecture, we are going to focus on second type where we will see problems based on relative positions. So what is the name of the type? Problems based on relative position. Let us read the problem once. A is to the east of B, second statement, B is to the north of C and the third statement is D is to the south of C. So using these three information, I have to find where is D with respect to A. So can I say that in this question, we have to answer our question in terms of direction, north, north, east, south, east, south, west in this way. Uh, so before I answer this, let us First, try to draw a diagram using the three information. Read the first statement. A is to the east of B. After reading this, can I say that the position of point A is purely dependent on B. So, wherever is point B, point A is going to, to the east of it. So, the first thing which I should do here, I should draw point B. And wherever point B is, to the east of it, I will find point A. I hope you have understood the first statement. Read the second statement now. B is to the north of C. Again, the position of B is dependent on C. So, if you want to visualize how the two points will uh, you know, look like. So, wherever is point C, to the north of it, you will find point B. So, let us try to, you know, adjust this information in this diagram. So, let me draw C here because then only I can show B to the north of it. Read the last statement. D is to the south of C. Here also, D's position is dependent on point C. Now, in my diagram, I know where is point C. So, I have to just go to the south of it. So, let's go to the south of point C and when I reach here, I will find point D. So, after using these three information, this is the distance diagram which I am able to make. We call this diagram as distance diagram. Uh, another thing which I would like you to note down is, whenever we create distance diagram, we primarily focus on showing two things. One, the relative position, means where is one point with respect to another. And second, we show distance between the two points. Now, it's a very important point. Please, guys, remember this. Whenever we create a distance diagram, there are two things which we show. One is relative position. Second, the distance between the two points. Uh, so, let's go back to the question now. The question asked is, where is point D with respect to point A? So, if you read the question carefully, you would say, sir, we have to find out the position of D with reference to A. Isn't it? A is the reference here. What I'll do, I'll stand at A and then I'll look at D. So, uh, to make your life easy, you can create a small plus sign here, indicating the four basic directions, N, E, S, and W. And now, when you look at D from A, what would you realize? That it is somewhere in between South and West. And therefore, the answer of this question is going to be South West. But there is something which I would like you to realize now. I know many of you would say, Sir, it means I should mark an option. Let's suppose there are uh, four options there. So, shall I mark an option which says southwest as my answer and move forward? The answer is you should wait for some while. If you read this information again, what would you realize? Remember what I told you about distance diagram. In distance diagram, we show two information. One, relative position. Second, distance. Now, as far as relative positions are concerned, I was given with all the relative information that A is to the east of B, B is to the north of C, T is to the south of C. But do you have any information pertaining to distance? Do you know distance between any of the points? You would say distance data is not mentioned. And if distance data is not mentioned, so how could I say that this is the only diagram possible for the given set of information? I hope you are understanding. Uh, another thing which I would like you to note down now, when I created this diagram, 
let's call it p1 when i created p1 i had made an assumption what assumption the distances between any two points are same since i am not given with any information pertaining to distance so what i assumed while creating this diagram i have assumed that distances are constant so you can clearly see that i have shown distances equal between any two points but this information is nowhere mentioned so this is an assumption so as per my assumed diagram p1 the answer to this question should be southwest but the thing which you should check now if i change the distance will i get the same answer or different right so the next step in this question is now you know what i'll do i'll again create the same diagram but now i try to manipulate the distance see relative positions would remain same because i have clear information about relative positions but what i'll do i'll now change the distances between the two points to check whether i'm getting different answer or same if i get same answer no problem but if i get different answer it means my answer is dependent on distance data let us see whether my answer changes or not so b and a let me change the distance let me increase the distance between these two points okay uh, b and c let's decrease the distance c and d let's decrease this distance further again try to answer the same question where is point d with respect to a so if you look at d from a again make a small plus sign what would you realize that the answer to your question is still same again you are getting the answer as southwest not only this if you make a rough diagram this is point b let's create a here let's create t again very close and take d a little far away again if you try to answer where is point d with respect to point a you would say sir again i'll get answer as southwest so what did we realize looking at the three figures what i can conclude that although the distance information is not given the answer is not changing so even if you don't tell me the distance information it is not going to affect my answer why because in the three scenarios p1 p2 and p3 what did i see i confirmed that the answer is not changing every time i'm getting the same answer it means answer is not dependent on distance information so even if you don't tell me it is not going to change anything now the question you should ask from yourself is it possible to get a concrete answer is it possible to get a unique answer to this question the answer is yes i am getting a unique answer but what if you are getting two answers or more than two answers what option you are going to mark in that situation let's suppose for this scenario you are getting uh, more than one answer so then you should mark an option which says c and d cannot be determined but since in this scenario i am getting a unique answer a concrete answer for every scenario so i should mark south west as my answer now to give you some more confidence that how will this happen let me show you one more problem and then we'll close the session look at this problem now now before you listen to the solution my suggestion is you should pause the video for now and try solving this question on your own keeping all the things which i have discussed with you so you may pause the video now all right read the first statement a is to the north east of b so again i can conclude that a's position is dependent on b so common sensically i should first draw b so wherever point b is let's suppose this is where point b is i have to go to the north east of it now if you are getting confused where is north east of it so uh, you may just you know think this is this is the north of b and this is the east of b so where is going to be the northeast of it just create a angle bisector so i'll draw an angle bisector from this point and this is where point a is and please realize the first diagram which i create i create it with an assumption what assumption that distance is constant although it is not mentioned anywhere but since i have to start from some point so i start from here the distance is constant let me remove this read the second statement now c is to the northwest of a so wherever point a is c is going to be to the northwest of it so where is point a 
this is point A. I have to go to the northwest. North is in this direction. West is in this direction. So if I want to go to the northwest, again I'll create an angle bisector. So create an angle bisector like this, and here you will find point C. Okay. Here you will find point C. And read the third statement now. D is to the east of C. So wherever the point C is, I have to go to the east of it. We'll go like this. And then we uh, have to create point D. So after using these three statements, this is the distance diagram which you will be able to make. Uh, I am reiterating, I know the relative positions, but distance information is nowhere mentioned. So when I created this diagram, I have made an assumption that distances are constant between any two points. So it means more diagrams can be created. But just to start off with, let us try answering this question. Where is D with respect to point B? So let's see where is point B first because B is going to be the reference. B is going to be the reference. Let's stand at B. So from B, when I look at D, see this is the north of B. This is the east of B. So it is not exactly in the north. Point D is not exactly in the east of it. Can I say that it is somewhere in between northeast? Point D, it is somewhere in between northeast. So answer to this question as per my first diagram is northeast. But now the important thing which I have to check, uh, what will happen if I change the distances? Will I get a same answer or a different answer? This is a very important condition which we have to check now. So let us again create the diagram. Uh, let me draw B here and A here. And please uh, realize I am going to change distances this time. Let me increase the distance between A and C. This is point C. And let us create point D here. So when you look at this diagram, what would you realize that I have not changed relative position because relative positions are given to us. We cannot change it. But since no clear information was given pertaining to distance, it means I am allowed to change distances between any two points. So if I try to answer the same question, what question? Where is point D with respect to point B? This time I am getting a different answer. This time your answer would be not. Now please realize as you are changing distance, you are getting a different answer. In the first figure, let us call it P1, you are getting answer as northeast. But in the second diagram, P2, you are getting a different answer, north. So what does it mean? It means as I am changing distances, I am getting a different answer. It means my answer is dependent on distance data. So if you don't tell me distance data clearly, I cannot get a concrete answer here. You can clearly see that we are getting two different answers here. Now, can you tell me which one is the correct, northeast or north? No, right? Now tomorrow, I can get a different answer. Let me show it to you. Let's say this is point B, this is point A, let me draw point C here and let's create point D here. So this time again if you try to answer the question, you would say sir, this is not in the north, it is not in the west of B, it is somewhere in between northwest. Point D is somewhere in between northwest. So can you see again I am getting a different answer. So as I am changing distances between the two points, I am getting a different answer. It means I need distance data concretely here. And since distance information is not given, I cannot tell you the answer concretely. So which option you are going to mark in this situation? You would mark an option which says C and D cannot be determined. I hope through this question you are able to understand all the nitty gritties which you have to keep in your mind while solving this type of problem. So this is all from my side for today. I hope you have enjoyed it. In the next video, I am going to discuss another important type. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you and have a nice day.